Yo guys, welcome back to me, PC Joe Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at an amazing Mary Quaza deck. And I think I have found a way to actually make this card somewhat playable. And that is going to be with the brand new Garvor with Shining Arcana. Now, Amazing Mary Quaza might be the worst Amazing Mary card we have received because it's just its attack cost is way too weird and awkward, and there's no real efficient way to power this up consistently, unlike with like Kyogre and Raikou, Raikou and stuff. However, Amazing Mary Rayquaza does actually have the power to work maybe with Gardevoir. Its attack needs Grass, Lightning, and Fighting, which are just weird types. Obviously, there's Coco, Prism, and there's like maybe Cherim to work with, but that's not enough. It only does 240 damage with those energies. However, with the brand new Gardevoir with the ability Shining Arcana, when you can look at the top two cards of your deck, and if you find any basic energy, you can attach them to your Pokemon. We can actually use this ability, hope there's an energy on the top of our deck and attach it to Rayquaza that way. It's not super, like, consistently always going to work, but it is the best way I could think to maybe play Amazing Rare Rayquaza in our standard format. And, I mean, you could do this with any Amazing Rare. It doesn't have to just be with Rayquaza, obviously. But we're going to do Rayquaza because I really want to do a video on this card. Because I don't... I have done it before with Vigavolt, but I really want to try it out one more time. So, if you're in the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PC gel pack codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So, if you guys want to pick up... Any set code still, like Chilling Rain Codes or Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Storm Shield Base Set, Rebel Clash, Vivid Voltage, whatever PDC Joe Pack code you're looking for, or if you're looking for any promo GX or V codes or sleeve codes, promo codes, whatever PDC Joe code you're looking for, Card Crime has got you. You get any codes over at Card Crime and at the checkout, guys. Use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Health channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out, guys, and make sure to use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Now let's take a look at the list. So, again, not the most consistent decks, and it's not the most amazing decks either, but it is going to be a lot of fun to play because, you know what, Gardevoir does have an insanely good ability. I mean, Shining Arcana, just allowing you to draw two cards is just honestly broken because, like, that can find you supporters and stuff. Now, the setup with this deck, it pretty much relies on getting a Gardevoir in play soon. We are playing four Rare Candy, of course. I'm not playing the Curlia engine in the deck Mainly because, one, we only play four Psychic, and two, I don't think the Curlia engine is really that reliable in this deck. Personally, I would rather just play, like, you know, just Rare Candy Gardevoir. Um, we got Oracorio, we got Crobat in the deck, Coco Prism, Mew, four Rayquazas for our Pokemon. The big kickoff with this deck, obviously, is we have to play a ton of energy cards. We are playing four Lightning, five Grass, five Fighting, four Lightning because we have Coco Prism. Or Psychic, because with another energy attachment, Rayquaza can do 320 damage. That is why we are playing four Psychic Energy in the deck instead of, you know, just Lightning Grass and... and uh, yeah, last Lightning Grass Fighting. We got the Psychic in the deck because it lets us have the extra energy to attack with Rayquaza. We also get to use Psychic Energy with Brainwave if we really have to. But it's really just to do the damage with the Rayquaza. We got Energy Recycler in the deck. We attack with Rayquaza, we can recycle back all the energies. And if we keep thinning our deck down of resources, we'll have a lot of energy in the deck, which means we're going to find a lot of energy off of our ability kind of in the late game. Um, I mean, yeah, that's basically the head. Um, we got Evil Incense, Calm, Quick Ball, Rod, Four Candy. Again, we have to play a lot of energy, so we can't really afford to play too many cards. We got two Boss, three Bruno, three Research. Again, once you set up a few Gardevoirs, you have Draw in the deck. Uh, we got two Balloons, great Pivot card, and uh, I mean, that's that. It's, again, not the most amazing of decks, but it's going to be a lot of fun to play, and it's awesome to try to make this card finally try to work in standard. And again, you can play this with any Amazing Rare if you want. I was going to do this originally with Kyogre, but I was like, well, let's do it with Rayquaza instead, because I haven't done a video on this card yet. And I have another Kyogre deck idea in mind coming very soon on the channel. Um, so let's uh, try this deck out, and let's see if we can uh, win any games. All right, into the first game with the Amazing Rare Rayquaza deck. We did win the coin flip, which is good. We do have a turn to Gardevoir, which is pretty cool, too. Not the worst start ever. I might just a Dene a hand away. Though I wouldn't mind getting a Rayquaza down either. But I don't know if I can rely on Shining Arcana here to, to help us out. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to get a Rayquaza. We have Crobat or Corio. Okay, you know what? Let's just get Rayquaza. We got... I mean, we have the energy in our hand. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. We'll see if this pays off or not. Hopefully it does. We'll see. Funny story, though. I had to cut out that little first part there where we did the coin flip animation because my camera froze. My webcam camera froze. Ooh, they have nothing. All right, that's not bad. Uh, we could win this turn. If we find a light energy here, we actually just win the game. So let's do our ability for... Oh, my gosh. Let's go, bro. 
I mean, that was barely even a game because all we did was just go, you know, it was a two turn game. But I mean, that's literally what the deck tries to do right there. That that's like the perfect, the perfect match for the deck. Just turn, just get Rayquaza powered up with Gardevoir's ability. I mean, that was kind of nuts, especially well for my first game. Okay, into another match with Gardevoir Rayquaza. Winning the coin flip is good. We're up against a grass deck here. Probably going to be an egg row deck. We'll see. We got another turn two Gardevoir, which is pretty decent. Uh, probably going to look to research the hand away. We'll see. We could play the Curlia engine in the deck instead of our candy, but uh, we don't play as many psychics. Ooh, we're playing against an Inteleon VMAX deck. That could be a little sketchy. Uh, there we go. I was hoping we get like a request off that. Quick ball is good too. Uh, well. I don't really want to get Marnie here. I, I, if we get Marnie, this will suck because we have the guaranteed Gardevoir. Um, so I might just hold the Quick Ball because we can use it to get like another Ralser or maybe a Mew or something. Yeah, I just don't want to. I don't know. I'll save the Quick Ball because you know maybe we'll get Marnie. I, I don't know. I'm hoping we don't get Marnie here because you know we got the Gardevoir. We got the rare candy Gardevoir. It's not every day that you open with your rare candy and your evolution. So hopefully we get to keep the hand here. Nice. Could stand me, I guess, but that's still six cards, so it's all good. Alright. This is fine. We can get a we need to get a psych energy on the Rayquaza so we can kill. Ooh, training cord. That actually helps me out quite a bit. That is actually a good card for us. <laughs> we can literally use that to, you know, keep attaching energy a turn. That's actually kind of good. Okay. There's psychic energy. So first things first, we will rare candy Gardevoir the bench obviously probably not gonna be able to attack this turn it's very unlikely we do get the opportunity i'm gonna put a psych energy on because we can actually well shiny nakarna first okay it's not bad um actually active i guess we have a retreat play we can quick ball away We'll get rid of the research. We'll grab another Ralt. We grab Mew. Now nah, we don't need Mew just yet. We could use Coco too. Let's grab another Ralt. Fine. No, I just confused Ray. We'll hold the hand. We're not going to get uh, Bench. Well, we could get Snipe Shot it, but that's probably unlikely. The big thing is we want to make sure we have a. Um, want to make sure we have the Bruno. So we can get Noctex. So we're probably going to get KO'd by the Inteleon here. They can KO me with Frost Moth and then. Aqua Report. Which is fine. Make sure we get Mew down and everything. We should be chilling. And then we can maybe one shot the Inteleon. We did get the uh we did get the psych energy on. So now we just need a we just need to attach light energy and then we need to attach the um the fighting. Yeah, and then we can one shot Inteleon for 320 damage. We'll see if this deck can actually win a game or two. We already won one game by getting a turn two donk, which is I mean that was just unexpected, to be honest. But See if we can win two games with the deck. Because obviously this isn't like the most amazing deck on the planet, as you may tell, but it is kind of cool. And it is finally cool to finally have a way to make this card, like, not playable, but like somewhat viable. Sort of. <laughs> Thank you, Gardevoir, for being printed. Good stage two cards, no way. Okay, let's see if they KO me here. Very likely they do. Actually, you know what? We should have quick balled away the light energy. Oh, they Marnie me. Okay, we still have Gardevoir. It's not the end. Of, not that bad. No, but we should have quick ball light energy. Wait, I forgot the training core was a thing. Okay, well, we got rare candy Gardevoir. Well, I mean, it works. We can draw four cards next turn. Okay, they do have a KO. It's a bit of a rip. Actually, oh, they could have had a boss actually KO my Rayquaza. That could have been a little sketchy. Hmm. I have two research now. They got a lot of Drizziles. What are they going to grab with this Drizzile? Probably a supporter for next turn, I'm imagining. Right? Order. Football. Ooh, they're gonna do Denny and Crobat, or one of the two. Yeah, I'm regretting not getting rid of that light energy now. Not gonna lie. We can take advantage of a training court, bro. Mm -mm -mm. This was not it, Chief. Not it. Alright, their turn is very long. Hopefully we get, we get a turn soon. So yeah, we got the Gardevoir. We're gonna be drawing five more cards with our top deck. And double shining arcana or whatever it's called. Um 
I don't know if we're going to be able to KO them, though. Now, if we can rip a Fighting or Light Energy off of the ability here, we will be able to KO them if we can find another energy. All we got to do is just get, like, an Oracorio or a Supporter or something here to, like, get into a better hand. That's kind of what I'm praying for here. We also got to get Mew down. They are down one Inteleon, but they're going to get the max bullets going, which is very annoying. All right, here goes nothing. Perfect. Literally the perfect top deck. We just draw the research. I will take it. All right. We don't have to do a Garver's ability just yet. All right. Ooh, we actually would have gotten energy, though. Hmm. Well, here goes nothing. Shiny Narcana. Grass energy. Hmm, doesn't work. Put that in our hand. Well, we can attach to Rayquaza and then, like... I'm thinking about maybe retreating next turn if we don't get a... A light energy here. Or we need a fighting energy. Yeah, we need to find fight energy. We'll fail that. Request might just get knocked out. All right, come on, fight energy. Let's go. We got them. Boo. Let's go. Insane. And we got the Mew, too. Wow, that was nuts. All right, I'll take it. There you go. Absolutely awesome. Amazing Rare Rayquaza that one shots the Inteleon uh, with the energies. And we'll get our prizes here. We do need a pivot. We do need a pivot. That's not a pivot. Okay, we might be stuck for a turn. We'll see, though. That was a really good KO, though. That was basically what we wanted to do, and we pulled it off. That's kind of, as you can see, that is what the deck tries to aim for, is to try to build up Rayquaza with, with a Gardevoir, and we pulled it off. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. This deck has actually been impressing me kind of decently well in this video, which I wasn't expecting. Ooh, they could attack me and kill me with Inteleon, though, which actually would be awkward. The baby Inteleon does kill Rayquaza in one hit, which is kind of sus. Not gonna lie. We'll see what they do. I'm hoping they actually don't KO Rayquaza this turn. They could boss KO one of my Mew. They could KO a Garvor, which would still suck, obviously. We have Bruno. We have a, another Garvor in our hand. The thing is, we need to make sure we can go back into another Rayquaza, which we don't have a Balloon in play yet. So we won't have a Pivot. We could just go Psy Power, which I don't think really does anything for us. Probably still have to go Rawls. And then worst comes to worst, we can Confuse Ray them. If they can evolve into the VMAX here, we can Confuse Ray. They have an Air Balloon on though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we just need to, like, make sure we move into Rayquaza, like, with an air balloon or something. Best top deck would be an Oracorio GX or a balloon. Rayquaza would be good, too. They can get boss any moment they want with Inteleon, which is sketchy. Get ready, guys. This Inteleon Drizzile engine is going to be the future of the TCG. Come rotation. Like, it is literally going to be the future. Like, I was playing a Sword and Shield on tournament the other day on my live stream. Both on my Twitch, by the way. Twitch.tv slash Fury down below. Um, and I got absolutely bodied by two games in a row where my opponent had the Italian engine, and they just path the peak me in one, they path the peak me on their first turn, and I couldn't play my Crobat, I couldn't play Dedenne, or not Dedenne, I couldn't play Crobat, I couldn't play Zacian's ability, I was playing a Corviknight VMAX Bronzong deck, and I ended up losing two games, I lost a, I lost a game to an Ice Rider deck, I'm playing a Metal Base deck, because path the peak slowed me down, because I relied on Crobat as my draw engine, and not the Italian and Drizzile. I'm telling you right now, guys, Italian Drizzile honestly might be the future of the TCG's draw engine because Path the Peak is just too good of a stadium. And there's not really any good counter stadiums in the new format other than, like, literally, like, Power of Water. Like, the counter stadiums in the post rotation are not very good. So I'm telling you right now, the future of the TCG is going to be very heavily relying on the Italian engine. Not Crobat anymore. Crobat is old news. We'll do the ability first, I guess, because we can draw more cards. Now. That ain't it. One more time? No. No Rayquaza, no Balloon. A bunch of energy. Okay, now this is where things might go south. Um, I guess we could boss the Cricketune. That doesn't really do us anything, though. Okay, I'm actually going to play this to put energy back in my deck. Uh, I don't think I have two Curly on the deck. I do want to attach energy here to Curlia. Just to do Mirage Step. Um, I guess it would have to be a Psychic, right? No, Bruno. Try to find a Rayquaza. The problem is we're probably going to get Boss, though. So we just needed a Pivot. Um, there's Rayquaza. If we pop the Coco, I mean, Rayquaza's gonna get bossed, though, right? I mean, 
we'll have to do it, I guess. It's fine, though. We can go here. Might as well put an energy on Gardevoir, too, while we're at it. Put a, we could have put on Mewtwo, I guess. It wouldn't have been terrible. Adventure or Choreo. Dance a tribute. Draw more cards. Wouldn't mind getting something good. I don't know. How many more cents? Kind of want to keep the Curly alive. Honestly, we could go into the Oracorio here. Because they can't get one shot. I mean, keep Curly alive. Then we have Triple Gardevoir. I kind of like that, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it. We still need a pivot. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about it. I should have popped Coco on Mew because now we don't have a Refer Tree pivot because there's a very high chance they're bossing me this turn. Like, if they don't boss me this turn, I'm going to be very surprised. There's definitely a boss's order coming our way. There's definitely a boss's order coming our way. We'll see, though. Yep, told you. I might kill Gardevoir, though. Yeah, no, they're going to go after Rayquaza. That's fine. Popping the Coco on the Rayquaza does kind of sting now. I mean, I, I think I had to go for it. We are drawing a lot of cards, though. So I, I feel like we will find something. I'm still promoting our Corio because it's a bunch of hit. You know. Grab Evil Incense. Get Gardevoir. I think we'll be okay. I mean, bro, we have, like, so many cards left still. It's not that bad. Um, Dance Tribute. See if we can find Rayquaza. Nice. Do get rid of our candy. Grab Rayquaza. We have Rod in the deck, which I do want to find, too. All right, here goes nothing. Now, do we do the ability now? I think we do, because we have 16 cards in the deck. We play Energy Recycler. We can put back... Hmm, I guess just these. Make sure we put Lightnings back in the deck, too. Right? Or put back... We put back a Psychic, but we can Training Core for Psychic. Now we try to KO them this turn, but we also still need a Pivot. So there's Fighting. All right. We're shutting Arcana. Another Fighting. That means we can't KO them, unless we get... Two energy off this other Gardevoir. Oof. Not good. Put that Nora Corio. We need to get two energy off this other Gardevoir. No, we got another fighting, bro. Nah, I don't need that many fightings. Oh, no. So we Bruno then? We have to find Rod here or another Equaza. That is not good. Okay, we got the rod, which we will... We'll, we'll hold for next turn, actually, right? Just pass. They probably have another boss here. Because, yeah, they definitely have another boss. They're going to kill my Rayquaza again. <laughs> I think we're going to lose this. We just can't get the Rayquaza powered up. I and mean, that was a good turn to power it up because we got the energy recycler. But, unfortunately, Gardevoir's ability just got us three fighting energies in a row. And it didn't get us any other energy type. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to power up Rayquaza. Um, maybe they don't have a boss. Oh, they actually don't. Okay. Well, this might work out, actually. We could KO this. We have boss in our hand. All right, here we go. Perfect. Grass energy. Oh, no, but we already have that on. So we need... We need... Fighting grass lightning. We need... Psychic energy or something, I think. Yeah, I think we need Psychic Energy here. To KO them. Psychic or Lightning? I don't have a way to... I have no way to rig that. Uh-oh. Okay, well, no, we can play the... We can play the Quick Ball. There's one other Rayquaza in the deck. We have two Psychics in the deck. Alright, well, what are the chances we rip it? No, dude! Oh, we got so unlucky. Two turns in a row where we weren't able to power up Rayquaza to KO the Inteleon. Okay, so now we have to do this. We retreat. Into we could still KO their Inteleon, but I really wanted to get the boss knockout. Which I guess we could still do. We could still boss KO, like, Cricketoon here. It's not, like, the worst thing ever to do. It's not the worst thing ever to KO their Cricketune here. Um, but I do think we knock out the Inteleon. And then they just go VMAX. We try to win next turn. That seems fine. We might get Marnie here. Probably should have played the Ordea Rod. But again, we're drawing like an insane amount of cards. I do think I KO the Inteleon. Because then we just got to KO the VMAX to win. Um, I don't think we have to KO any of their support cards. So Balloon is a really good prize. Okay. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be a very close game. My opponent thankfully cannot win this turn. Thanks to Mew being in play. 
There's the Marnie. That's what I was worried about. I probably should have rotted, but again, we have Oracorio and Triple Gardevoir. Oh, but those go to the bottom of the deck. Probably should have calmed. Okay. I think we will lose. We just kind of had too many turns where we just kind of couldn't get anywhere, you know what I mean? I mean, we can go Gardevoir, I guess, if worst comes to worst, but they probably have boss in their hand. Not gonna matter. We couldn't shuffle the deck either. I think this is gonna be an L, guys. Energy Recycler. Okay, we got Bruno, which is huge. That might get us there. Okay. Wait, it might. We got Balloon. Hold on, hold on. We got Rayquaza in the deck. Yep, okay, it's in there. We can still win. Now we just need to rip the energy types we need. Okay, there's grass. And we can play the Recycler here. Let's do it. We'll play the Recycler. This will put back the energy we need to. Let's put back those three. I'm not going to put back Psychic Energy because we can always attach more hand. Here we go. Shine Arcana. Let's go. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We need to rip a light energy off of this. No, dude. Again, we fumble the attack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so close, bro. We just needed a light energy off of that. And we could have KO'd this Italian and we would have won the game. Oh my gosh. That's unfortunate. I mean, six card hand. They probably have boss for game. That's unfortunate. We just needed... We just needed a light energy off of the Gardevoir and we would have won the game. Just need a lightning. You know, maybe we shouldn't even have done the energy recycler than thinking about it. Um, but I think it was fine to do it. But now I'm thinking we shouldn't have because we just couldn't get the light energy on the Rayquaza in time. I mean, yeah, you guys can kind of see the idea of the deck though. But I mean, this game was really good. We set up three Gardevoirs, but we were just unable... Like Gardevoir got really unlucky. We weren't able to find energy after each Shining Arcana, which really sucks. So this was just an unfortunate match. I mean... We'll just pray they don't have boss, I guess. They probably have it, so. We came very close to winning. We had a few turns where we could have killed the Inteleon. But again, Gardevoir's ability just didn't come through. We weren't able to find the energy we needed to attack with Rayquaza. So we just needed a light energy. We would have won the game. The light energy did not want to come out and play, um, which is unfortunate. Kind of regretting playing the energy recycler now, not going to lie. But, I mean, what could I have done in that scenario otherwise? Okay, here we go with Rayquaza. We almost beat Inteleon, so hopefully we can uh, almost and also beat whatever this is. It's a fire deck. Okay. Uh, ooh, the double boys. However, this hand's pretty good. I'm not sure of the Rokorio because we can drop Crobat. We have uh, turn two Gardevoir, which is pretty good. So, yeah, pretty good start. We'll see where it takes us. I'm just scared of getting double blaze donked. Ooh, Moltres and Houndour. Okay, I'm going to quick ball for Ralt. I do want to get Rayquaza too, but... Get Ralt for now. And pray we don't get Marnie. I don't... Moltres with Houndour. I'm, I'm just confused what this could be. I guess they're playing single strike Urshifu with Moltres? I, well, I don't know. Houndoom doesn't power up Moltres, so I'm kind of confused. I am praying we don't get Marnie though, because we have Arcane Gardevoir. And Crobat. Like, this hand's actually insane. If we can draw a Pokemon, too, literally, we can get another Gardevoir or Ralts. But might go for Equaza. We'll see. Now, the cape actually is kind of awkward because it does give this thing 270 HP, which means we do have to go for the big 4 energy KO. But if they attack with Aura Burn, they will go to 240 HP. So then it can get one shot that way. Tyranitar. They're playing a single strike deck. I guess just with Moltres? Alrighty then. They might play a Bomb of Snow on the deck. That could be awkward. Then Tyrantar... Oh, well, the, with, with Houndoom, actually, Tyrantar is a bit easier to KO. Okay. I'm just praying they don't Marnie me here. I'm, I'm just really hoping we don't get Marnie because I really want to keep this hand. Every time we get a Rare Candy Gardevoir, it's just don't Marnie me. Do not cheese me, bro. Do not cheese me out of the game. Ooh, Viridian. That actually helps us out quite a bit. Alright, yeah. Just don't cheese me out with a Marnie here. That would be greatly appreciated. What am I, maybe we could put a Snorlax in the deck. We just don't have any way to move it. That's the only problem. But I wouldn't mind having it because I don't really want to lose my Oracorio next turn. I don't know. We'll see what they do. No, Marnie. You'll love to see it. 
which means we can go rare candy garver we did drop pokemon too now do i grab rayquaza or do i grab a another ralts i mean he could have a boss in his hand with three card hand though i doubt it yeah there's already a boss in the discard we're just gonna get we're gonna get rayquaza might just sack crobat see what shining arcana gets us ralts number two nope another fighting hmm can't really research here obviously balloon the oracorio i don't mind retreating either i don't really think it makes a difference it's unlikely we attack next turn would have liked to have seen more rolls there but that's fine i mean our start was so good i can't really complain to be honest especially in a deck like this you can just easily get a handful of energy right and it's like i'll take what i can get Maybe Crobat doesn't get KO'd because they just attached a Tyranitar. So actually, they might not KO me here unless they go for the Dire Flame Wings combo. I don't mind them knocking out Crobat though because at the very least... I mean, they get two prizes, which is a little sus. But like at the same time, they go down to 240 HP. Then we just need to rip two energy. So we can rip one energy off Shining Arsana, Arcana. Then we go Viridian for the other energy for Amazing Burst and then KO the Guard or this. Tyranitar taking damage is good. Scoob Net is weird. Why, what are they using Scoob Net with? Let's see if they have a supporter in their hand here too. Here's see if they have a supporter. We'll see. What do they got? They don't. Interesting. There's another Rayquaza. We'll definitely bench that. We'll just do our ability. Second energy. Perfect. What else did we get? Air Balloon. Fine. We still let Crobat die. That sounds terrible. No, we let Crobat die, bro. Who cares? We just let Crobat die. I'm fine with Crobat getting KO'd. Um, oh, I should have ballooned the Gardevoir, actually, because they could Marnie me. But we already have two Rayquazas, so I'm not really worried about that. But I could have. They could Kragalanch me, which they won't KO me. But that could discard important resources. That could actually be awkward. If they just get discard energy, though, we can always recover with Rod or Retrieval or whatever. Re 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 energy Recycler. Do they have a boss? Boss would be bad. KO would be fine. KO my... Crobat, please, just, yes, thank you. Crobat, you, uh, your existence is nullified. Okay. Now we can KO them a little bit easier. Now, Tyranitar, actually, Craigalanch will KO me, right? 80, 100, 120. Craigalanch does one-shot Rayquaza, which is awkward. I mean, I'm not going to play Cape in this deck, obviously, just to fix math, but, I mean, maybe it's something we got to play. I don't know. Drew Lightning. We need to get Grass Energy in play. I need to dance Tribute first. Okay, there's Ralts. Do this, then on the deck even more. You just need to make sure we find the... I don't know if we're going to find the energy here, but you never know. Nope. Rip. We got another Ralts, so... We have to give up something again. Yeah, no knockout. Kind of sucks. It's all good, though. It's a little unfortunate we didn't get the KO there, but whatever. Um... I think we just have to get my rolls. Honestly, maybe we should have just went for a Confuse Ray. Make him retreat in a Tyranitar. We can still win. We just have to attack every single turn and hope they don't boss my Recorio. <laughs> this is a little actually... This is actually getting a little problematic, though. Definitely whiffing the attack there was bad. Um, It's not the end of the world, though. Like, again, we just have to make sure we attack every single turn. That's all we got to do. We get an attack with the other Rayquaza next turn. We don't actually have to Gardevoir to it. We can use this Rayquaza to KO anything else. They do another single strike roar. Do the Tyranitar. Okay. Sure. I want my bossy next turn actually and KOing the Tyranitar, because that's a little bit more scarier than the art uh, than the Moltres. So they KO my Ralts, right? Do they have it? Again, I am scared of my Oracorio getting KO'd, but I mean I had to give him Crobat there, right? Because like I didn't want to give him Ralts or Rayquaza, obviously. Or Oracorio, because Oracorio is very important to draw cards. That's the nice thing about this deck. If you set it up, you can draw a lot of cards thanks to Oracorio and Gardevoir. Um, what are they going to do? They're going to retreat. Ooh, they're going to crag me here. That's fine. I don't really think it matters what they attack me with here. I don't mind killing the Tyrant chart, though. As long as I don't have a boss, that's the only thing I'm scared of. No boss, nice. All right, what are they going to crag Lanch away, though? 
grass and an evo incense Ooh, the grass is a little annoying but not that bad actually we do have a ko here thankfully we got another gardevoir which is awesome yes yeah, sir get those down again this could get this will probably come into a boss door for my opponent um but it's all good all right So do danger tribute. We will probably just go for a Viridian. There's Coco. We'll pop Coco now on this other Rayquaza. Or we can save it. Might save it. Yeah, let's just do our ability first. Yeah, we got another Rayquaza. Okay. Do ability again. Now we're just Viridian for grass. So we got no energy off of that, which is nuts. All right. Good thing I'm going for the play. We could go triple Garvor too next turn. No, we can't. Never mind. All right, let's just Viridian here. For the light energy, I guess. Okay. Bench Rayquaza. Balloon. Yeah. Not going to play Bruno. We don't have to. So let's knock out this thing. Okay, cool. We'll get KO'd by Moltres. Again, it'll come down to whether my opponent bosses me or not. If they don't find their last boss, we should win the game if we can attack every turn, which we will do. We could get marnie here, but again, we have double Gardevoir. We have most of our supporters. We have all of them in the deck still. That's why I didn't discard any supporters there with my Viridian, because I'm like, I want to keep my supporters, right? I want to keep the keep them all, because we could get marnie or Stamped or something. E-Switch. They're going to attack with the fresh Moltres. That's fine. Even if they put a cape on, they'll still go down to 240 HP. Hopefully they don't tool scrap for me. I could watch. I got to watch out for that too. That's why I was skeptical about putting the second balloon on. But I don't want to get marnie into a really bad hand or anything. I want to make sure we have two balloons in play. I don't know. They could do something. Again, it'll come down to a boss's order, right? Yee, boss order one time. No, thank you. We're getting some pretty good games with this deck. Like the games are a lot closer than they they are, right? That's the nice thing about this deck. It's like actually not playing too bad for us. But the games are kind of close. Okay. So we got two lightnings. Yep. Perfect. Pop Coco. We can attack with the other Rayquaza. We can build the other guy slowly in the background. We'll play under Recycler. Actually, ooh, we should have went Dance of Tribute first. We should have went Dance of Tribute first, actually. Yeah, that might have been better. Yeah, it's all good. I'm going to grab the Grass Energy here so we can guarantee the KO. Now we'll just go... Shining Arcana. Perfect. We can save the other Rayquaza. That's actually beautiful. Yes, the busted Gardevoir deck. That's actually perfect. You can just attack with this Rayquaza and save the other one for a rainy day. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this deck is awesome, bro. This deck is awesome. Oh my god! Now that, see, now this is what I'm talking about with the energy. Now that is what I'm talking about. You'll love to see it. I don't even really want to do Dance of Tribute, to be honest. I'm just going to take him out. If I do in Tribute, I could draw a lot of energy. I'm just going to knock him out. All right. This is perfect. Now, they could win if they have a boss here. If they don't have boss, we might win the game. Um, We might win the game if we don't get bossed here. We just need to make sure we hit the right energy attachment on the other Rayquaza. But if they don't boss me here, we will win the game here against my opponent's Single Strike Tyranitar Moltres V deck. Here we go. Rayquaza Amazing Rare doing its thing. Now, that was a really good last turn. That was a really good last turn. So, I think we should win. We'll see. Again, they have boss. They have boss. They have a three-card hand. They're down one boss. We'll see if they have it. But if if they don't have it, guys, we should just win the game here. Unless for some reason they don't attack me. But if they don't attack me, we can try to get two energy on by going attach Gardevoir and then retreat into the other Rayquaza with all the energy on it. And if they, if they for some reason, they don't boss Kamara Core and they boss KO this, I mean, we have the other Rayquaza. So, this is really good. This is a great match. Will my opponent have a boss in their hand? All these games are coming down to a boss's order, but that happens when you play a lot of stage twos and you're a little bit slower. Don't have it, please. Okay, nice. That's game, guys. Amazing Rare Rayquaza defeats my opponent in a pretty interesting game, but you guys got to see the deck in action in this match, and you guys got to see how this deck plays. Here we go. Amazing Burst for 200 and... or 320 damage. Thanks to Gardevoir. That is how you do it, guys. This deck was pretty decent, actually. Took it was actually a quicker video to record than I expected it. But yeah, this deck is actually kind of awesome if it sets up. 
Um, and again, you guys can tweak around with the list. If you guys want to go with a Curlia route over the Rare Candy, be my guest. That might be better, in all honesty. If you don't want to go Rare Candy, you could just play the Curlias instead. Um, if you want to play the Curlia engine, be my guest. Maybe add a fifth Psychic to the deck. I mean, if you want to go Curly, you can just go like this. And you can go like five Psychics. And you can just go like that. So if you guys want to play Curlia over the uh, Rare Candies, you can try that out. I might try out more Gardevoir Amazing Rare decks. If you guys want to see more videos on these I deck this deck idea, let me know because I just really like the deck. And as you can see in that last game there, the deck played pretty flawlessly. But that'll be it for the big guys on the deck. We almost beat Intellion VMAX deck. We were just one energy short of winning the game. A little unlucky in that in that second game there, but we were able to do decently well with the deck in all three matches in total, which is awesome to see. So yeah, pretty cool deck. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Help me in the road to reaching 18 thousand subs check out card cavern down below too use code ldf if you get any codes over at card cavern um check out my twitch down below i'm streaming a lot more frequently now so if you guys want to follow my twitch make sure to follow it uh check out my socials too my twitch my twitter my patreon also all that good stuff i'm out see you guys later Bye bye